water um, or bodies of water actually undergoes biological contamination. When you say biological contamination, these are contaminations that is being brought about by um, the biological system. Particularly, since this is anthropocentric, so biological contamination is being contributed by um, human beings. So water seems to be local, ibig sabihin that it is already available within the Earth's surface, primarily that constitutes the hydrosphere, and largely biological. When you say largely biological, it acts in two different forms, like uh, it acts as a habitat for different aquatic organisms. At the same time, it acts as a... Um, a factor that needs or a factor that is very important for the survival of terrestrial organisms particularly humans so we can't deny the fact that all organisms on earth requires water for for survival particularly water is very important as a composition of body structure of different organisms on earth so primarily human waste primarily dumped in the ground or on the ground or into the nearest streams so um, we have already or we are acquainted that um, most of the waste materials goes into the bodies of water doon tinatapon or meron din namang um, hindi natin namamalayan na nagsisip in na to the aquifer or groundwater which contaminates the groundwater which is an issue it is because aside from the surface water that supplies household or the mess uh, water that for domestic purposes there are also um, industries and even household that are dependent on groundwater for its um, domestic use or domestic purpose so water contamination is continually happening in some parts of the world or hindi nga ata to some or different parts of the world okay so you have the um, you can actually see after natural calamities that a lot of garbages in bodies of water can be observed in uh, shore, particularly in Manila Bay. Nyayari ngayon in Metro Manila because of, of the typhoon and the storm and tropical depressions. Ayan. So, nababalik din siya, nawawash out din siya in the shore. So, yun yung palatandaan that there are waste materials that is being dumped into bodies of water. Okay. So, sources of water pollution can be of three. We have domestic sources, primarily on household sources. Ayan. So, pwedeng um, some of the streams or rivers are being dumped with, with solid waste. Okay. So, dito tinatapon yung basura. Ayan. Lahat ng ano it could be organic or inorganic waste, mga plastic, so most likely probably na ano diyan pupunta naman doon sa major sink which is the salt water ecosystem and primarily in the ocean. So aside from 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 solid waste uh, disposal, um medyo problematic din itong you know observe niyo na may naglalabas sa ano, naglalabas sa sa river so akala natin okay lang to but but this detergent or the phosphate in the detergent primarily the primary compositions ng detergent na ginagamit dito kasi nila ano nilalagay din so one of the fate ng phosphate ng detergent it can actually detrimental to other aquatic organisms so pwede niyang patayin yung mga other aquatic organisms which are not resistant to high amount of phosphate Another result is that uh, phosphates can actually enhance the growth of, of algae, okay? So, which will cause eutrophication or over-enrichment of bodies of water. Okay, nagiging malumot siya, okay? So, later, um, we will discuss ano yung, ano, yung, ano yung implications ng eutrophication at the same time, pag increase ng population of algae in bodies of water, okay? So, most probably, those are domestic sources of water pollution others naman the second one is you have industrial sources so primarily yun yung wastewater um wastewater na nanggagaling sa ano sa factories and you have um other industries so 
um, nagiging ano kasi, nagiging practice that some of the indices are located near uh, bodies of water for easy easy uh, removal of wastewater. Okay. Yun naman yung pinaka, ano, yun yung tinatawag na pinaka-ideal na location ng factories and industries. However, they should actually follow what we so-called wastewater treatment before releasing um, uh, that particular waste into bodies of water. So, ibig sabihin, it will not directly go onto the bodies of water, but ideally, it should undergo waste treatment process. Okay? So, yung lalabas ngayon sa factory, pupunta sa bodies of water, ay clean water na, hindi na siya, um, what do you call this, uh, uh, polluted water. Polluted waste water. Okay? Yun yung idea. Or ideal na dapat gawin. However, hindi yun na susunod. So, the waste water will not be treated or the waste water is not treated but it goes directly onto the bodies of water. Kaya yun yung um, industrial sources ng water pollution. And of course, we have agricultural sources, primarily yung uh, farms, mga uh, commercial farms, gumagamit ng pesticides, weedicides, herbicides that can contaminate um, bodies of water, especially pag umulan. Okay? So pag umulan, nag-spray ngayon ng herbicides and other um, pesticides or whatever. So, pwedeng madala kasi yun ng runoff going on to the bodies of water. Ayun ulit yung problem on um, kukos ng toxicity on aquatic organisms. Okay? So, papatayin niya yung bodies of water. Yung fertilizer naman na ina-apply on commercial farms, pwedeng ang result dun is ma-over-enrich niya yung, yung, what? yung bodies of water when runoff. Kung nagkaroon ng ulan, pas nag-apply ng fertilizer, mag-wash off yung fertilizer, papunta sa rivers, ganun din, mag enrich niya yung river, magkakaroon ng eutrophication, at dadami yung algae within the that particular bodies of water. So, nagiging source din yun ng tinatawag na water pollution. Okay, so both herbicides, weedicides, and pesticides, and of course, the fertilizer being used by commercial farms, yun yung sources ng water pollution. Okay. So, also chemical contamination. So, some factories are built within river banks. Okay, so usually, uh, um, I have explained to you in previous slide, bakit doon usually nakabuilt yung mga factories. And chemicals and other waste from these factories are dumped to bodies of water, which is not the ideal process, yung sabi ko sa inyo. The, the wastewater should undergo um, treatment process before it could be released in bodies of water. So chemical contamination are caused the use of fertilizers for agriculture, um, including pesticides and oil spills on bodies of water. So meron tinatawag na hard water with minerals and salts and other materials making it salty. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang naman asin yung nagkukos ng saltiness but other minerals, okay, na nai-impound sa water. So, actually, yung masasabi natin hard water, gaya ng uh, domestic water natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, yung indicator na we're using hard water, although it is not salty, yung mga yan na mineral uh, deposits sa gripo doon sa kettle na ginagamit niyo po ininit kayo ng tubig at gumagamit kayo ng tubig sa gripo yung mga solidified materials na nasa side ng kettle okay so yun yung mga minerals na nasa water mismo so masasabi mo that we have hard water uh, for domestic purpose pag merong mga ganung classing indicator okay so may mga ganitong salts na naiipon sa gripo ninyo, so most probably that indicates hard water or water with lots of minerals and other salts.